Good morning, welcome back to Asgard, and today I want to just quickly show you how to automate the distillery. Um, it's fairly simple, but in case anybody's having any issue with it, um, and since we are automating all things witchery right now, um, I figured I'd put out a short video uh, describing how to do that just in case. So, we'll throw down our distillery, and we're also going to set up an altar, because it does require a little bit of altar power. Um, you can make it more elaborate if you want to, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to do a candelabra um, on an altar, because that should run this just fine. And then we're going to attach an interface onto the back, and just put some item conduits, set it to extract, always active, and insert so that it feeds back into the interface. And then over here we're just going to set up an export bus on the side of this and link that up. And then we're going to give this a crafting card so that it can request items and give it clay jars. So you'll notice that this will start filling up with clay jars. And actually for the tutorial let's go ahead and just give this some acceleration cards just so that it's faster. But honestly you don't really need them with this um, with a standard setup because it's gonna it's gonna keep up with the distillery okay so since we've got that set up now let's cover the recipe and when you set the recipe up the what I would suggest doing is telling it um, that it's gonna use a breath of the goddess and lapis and that it's going to get a tear of the goddess now you could tell it it's gonna get a tear a whiff of magic and a foul fume however for example, Whiff of Magic, um, you can create that by cooking rowan saplings. So I would suggest telling your system to make it uh, Whiffs of Magic with that recipe um, instead of this. But you can do it either way if you so desire. Um, but keep in mind, I would suggest only giving it one recipe for Whiff of Magic. So, because the AE system will get confused um, when it tries to make things if there's multiple recipes. And the same goes for Foul Fume. I would suggest doing um, like an oak wood or something as opposed to um, including it within this recipe. But that's my personal preference, um, you know, as far as that goes. So that's how I would set up the recipe. And if we come over here, we'll just throw it in there and we'll quickly demonstrate um, you know requesting some tears of the goddess so if we request say 20 of these start and we'll come over here it's now running this so I'll be back in just a second when it's about to finish okay welcome back um, so it's just about to finish and there we go, and it pulls all the items out and starts up the next one. And you notice that the altar is keeping up. Now, if we remove the candelabra, um, you'll notice that it slowly starts draining. That's why I suggest at least putting like a candelabra or something um, on the altar. Um, you know, that's my personal suggestion. Um, at least something for a little bit of regen speed on this, just in case you run it for extended periods of time. Um, but even a times two regen will keep up with the distillery. So um, that's basically how you automate the distillery. So all the other recipes are pretty much the same. Um, you know, demonic blood, I would suggest just telling it that it's going to create four demonic blood with that, um, you know, by using the demon heart and the, I can't think of what the other, oh, refined evil, I believe. No, I don't remember. But anyway, I would suggest just telling it to, um, you know, it's going to get four uh, demonic bloods from that and so on. So, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Like I said, it's fairly easy to automate, but I figured I'd put out a short video just in case anybody needed any help with it or had any questions with the recipes because when it comes to automating witchery, you want to be kind of careful with how you set up your recipes um, just because of the way that witchery works and you have a lot of... Um, crossing recipes that create the same things as byproducts and so on so um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and i hope it helped as always if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know uh, and if you enjoyed it as always please comment like subscribe it's very very much appreciated and until next episode do take care and i hope to see you guys then